Hello, everybody. Welcome to Dr. Samuel Math videos. I am Dr. Samuel. And we are continuing to look at simplification of algebraic expressions. But today, we begin simplification of algebraic fractions. This is the first video, and you have another video later on on this topic. So we have done fractions already in arithmetic. So now we look at fractions in algebra and how we simplify them. So let us go to our first example. So here we have two examples. Let's look at the first one. Simplify x over 3 plus x over 5. So we are adding two fractions. The denominators are numbers, but then in the numerators, we have algebraic expressions. Well, just x. We do the same thing we did to add normal fractions. The first thing we find is the lowest common multiple of the denominators. So we draw a line underneath it, and we find the LCM of 3 and 5, which is 15. 3 times 5 is 15. Remember, 15, that's the lowest number both 3 and 5 can divide into without a remainder. What we're doing, we're bringing both fractions to the same common denominator, 15. So for x over 3, 3 into 15 is 5. It means we multiply 5 by 3 to get 15. So we multiply x times 5 to get 5x. So x over 3 equals 5x over 15. Do the same for the second fraction. 5 into 15 is 3. So you multiply 3 times x to get 3x. And so all we do now is simplify the numerator. 5x plus 3x is 8x over 15. And that is the answer. It cannot be simplified any further. That's how we add and subtract fractions. So let's go to number two. We have 3n over 4 minus 5n over 9. We draw the line underneath and you find the LCM of 4 and 9, which is 4 times 9. That is 36. First fraction, 4 into 36, that's 9. So 9 times 3n, 3 times 9 is 27. So you're going to have 27n minus second fraction. 9 into 36 is 4. 4 times 5n. 4 times 5 is 20. So that is 20n. Simplify the numerator. 27n minus 20n. That is 7n. And so the answer is 7n over 36. That's it. In these two examples, we have an algebraic expression as denominators. We don't have numbers. So for we have in the first example, we have denominators x squared and x. But we proceed exactly the same way we did in the first two examples. We draw a line underneath and we find the LCM of the denominators. Now, the LCM of x squared and x, that's the lowest term both x squared and x can be divided into, or the lowest multiple of x squared and x. When you have that situation, you simply use the symbol with the highest power. As long as you have the same symbol, the symbol with the highest power is the LCM. So the LCM of x squared. And x is x squared. 
And so the first fraction is 2 over x squared. So we simply put down the 2 here. 2 over x squared plus, for the second fraction, x can go into x squared x times because x times x is x squared. And so the numerator will become 5 times x, which is 5x. And this is the answer because we cannot simplify the numerator more because we don't have like terms. We have 2 plus 5x. So we leave it like this. Let's go to number 4. We draw our line. The LCM of 5 and x. So we have 5 and x. The LCM will be simply 5 times x which is 5x. 5x is the lowest term both 5 and x can go into. For the first fraction, 5 can go into 5x x times, and so x times xy, x times x is x squared, so the numerator becomes x squared y minus Second fraction, x into 5x is 5, and 5 times 1 is 5. And this cannot be simplified any further because you don't have like terms in the numerator. Let's move on. So let's look at the last two questions. Again, the denominators are expressions, algebraic expressions. So we continue as before. In number 5, we draw the line. And we find the LCM of 4B squared and 2B. Now, when you have both numbers and letters, find the LCM separately. The LCM of 4 and 2 is 4. 4 is the lowest number both 4 and 2 can be divided into without a remainder. And the LCM of B and B squared, we take the highest power. So the LCM is B squared. First fraction, 4B squared is the denominator. And so we'll just put on the 3. 3 over 4B squared minus 2B into 4B squared. We say 2 into 4 divide the numbers. 2 can go into 4 2 times, and b can go into b squared b times. So it is 3 minus 2b over 4b squared. Let's go to number 6. LCM of a, b squared, and b cubed. We have A and we have B as the symbols. We only have an A in the first one, but you must put it down. Remember, put down the highest power of all the symbols. And so the highest power of A is just A. And the highest power of B is B cubed. So the LCM is A, B cubed. First fraction, A, B squared into A, B cubed. We know A into A is 1. Don't put the 1, and b squared into b cubed is just b. And b times 2, sorry, is 2b. So 2b is the numerator of the first fraction over a b cubed. Minus b cubed into a b cubed. The b cubes cancel out, so you're left with a. And a times 3 is 3a. And we have unlike terms in the numerator, so we can simplify any further. And that's it. In the next video, we'll continue with simplification of fractions by looking at a different set of fractions with a different method of simplifying it a slightly different method i should say if you like this video then please hit the button below 
and subscribe to my channel or you can like or share the video. See you next time.